Nah. There was nothing special about that song because that was everyday. That was, that was, that was, was everything. hit that hole too because that was stuff that had been happening there since '92. New York had never given us respect, and then now that the South was on top, my nigga Willie D said that your double standards and hypocrisy <laughs> remind me of math, <laughs> man. man. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One One. The the quit hating the South with with, yeah. with Willie D and them. What was had you spoken to uh, Pimp C around that time when all? Yeah. What was what was the uh, the? I know he I know where he was coming from with it, but what was the energy like? And just kind of give me a rundown on how you felt about it. Was it was nothing special about that song because that was everyday. That, that, that was it. That was everything. Hit that hole too because that was stuff that had been happening to us since ninety two. New York had never given us respect, and then. Now that the South was on top, my nigga Willie D said that your double standards and hypocrisy <laughs> remind me of math. Man. <laughs> man. Hold on, man. That nigga rapping, that, that boy, that hard. That nigga went hard. He one of my favorites, man. Man, say, ball head. Now, nah, go ahead. Then what? Uh, Core Mo. <laughs> Core Mo's supposed to be coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's supposed to be coming on Boston. I heard Core Mo call him the original country rap tunes. Nah, for real. Yeah, man. Willie D, the first nigga that, that, that was rapping country. Yeah, and yeah. Pim, Chad would give him credit for that. For right. sure. Between. Ron, Ron was Chad's for, uh, favorite rapper than Willie D. Ron DMC. No, Ron from Ron DMC. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ron was his DJ favorite Ron. rapper. Yeah, DJ yeah. Ron. I, I take that back. Tupac was his favorite. Rapper. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We know Tupac that. Tupac was his favorite rapper of and all time. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you some. Let me tell you this story, man. Because I was. How did he like? That? Did he ever talk to you about Tupac? All time. Bro. Okay, so what, what's tell up you, with that, bro? We just. At that time of our life, man, you have to realize, man, we were just, we wasn't rich. We wasn't rich, bro, but people thought we were rich. Imagine being regular cats in your hometown, and then when you go out on the road, you superstars, and there's jail packed women pulling on you, and it's just, and, 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 and during that time, we were just so humble that I remember the, the week of me moving to Port Arthur, it was when uh, um, Thug Life CD dropped. And that CD got us through a lot of hard times, especially that uh, straight balling. That straight balling. I wish you the definition of balling with your wife. Ooh. Man, man, that straight balling. I got Lord knows tattooed on my arm right man, here. Man, come on, man. I ain't play so with hold that, on, man. Hold on, hold on. So speaking of that, speaking of that, there you go. Now now you know where I'm going with got this. Got to on So... We would um, just just study this dude, and then we we felt him so much. And when they dropped that "Me Against the World," mm. we studied that. Oh man, we I remember, man, we cut the lights off, completely dark in the house. Rolled us two or three. That's back when we was rolling perfectos. Nigga, what? We was rolling perfectos, <laughs> man. You know what I'm saying? And, and we just rolled us two or three blunts, man. We we listened to that. Uh, 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 Me Against the World album, which is by far his best best body of work, From man. Front to back. Yeah, man. That whole go on. Man, oh my God. And that just, it just touched us so much, man. And then sitting up there, dear mama showed up on that side. Yeah. We looked at each other like, bro. Bro. So Pimp was, <laughs> Pimp oh, yeah. on that one, huh? Well, before that, he had went to Houston. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go back to that. He had gone to Houston for something, left me at Sand Jack. And when he came back home that night, he said, Bobo, you gonna be mad at me. I said, what? That nigga said, nigga, that song, that beat you tried to give me, why you treat me so bad, that sample that I didn't like. Yeah. But I just heard a song in Houston on the radio. I got five on it. Yeah. He said, nigga, that's just a hit. I should have did that. <laughs> he said, that's just a hit. Yeah, yeah. He said, Bobo, I'm so sorry. Nah. Oh, he apologized to me for two days over that, bro. So yeah, that, you know, but back to uh, that Tupac, yeah, that, that's why, bro. Because Too Short I always say, man, I don't know, I don't think he never met the nigga, never. But he still just, well, he didn't like. If Tupac didn't like him, he that's, didn't like him, bro. No, that's how that's I was. It. I was the same, same way, same, though. Same. I, was I didn't the same start way. listening to a lot of like, like I say, the East Coast rap that was coming out then. Yeah. I ain't fuck with it like, then because yeah. I was a Pac fan. Yeah, I was a big Pac fan. And he was fan, riding bro. against them niggas. I was, that's how I was doing this oh, shit. Oh, when they start riding listening. against them. Especially Jay Z, man. I ain't start, and I'm a Jay Z fan like a motherfucker now. But oh, like, I when know. I was like in seventh grade. Oh, I know yeah. you're a Jay Z fan, first, nigga. Pac didn't like the niggas, nah. so I wasn't fucking with I didn't fuck with Jay Z until I wanted to album. 
I'm just gonna be real with you. The only CD that uh, in my lifetime, in my lifetime, we're, we're yeah. too short in them on it. Too short on them. When, yeah. when it I was s- all good just a week ago. Yeah. Listen, yeah. man, I just I ain't gonna lie. Ro, uh, Pac was man. He was that guy. Imaginary players. Uh, imaginary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You yeah. gotta realize, you know, uh, to live and die in LA, even after I was riding with Pac, bro. Oh, yeah. I'm in the car doing all this crazy stuff, and Pac got me through. But that Lord I'm being knows. Honest. Ooh, I smoke a blunt to take my man, pain man. out of it. I'll probably, probably try, try to blow my brains, brains out. I mean, come on, man. It should have killed me as a baby. It's on me against the world, baby. I know. Every song was man, we just. We ain't gonna even talk I, about man. Touch Death Around the Corner. What, what did he say about what's and his so name? You know what I, I realized, bro? What? Death Around the Corner and uh, what's that one on All Eyes on Me? Death Around the Corner and Pitch Me Rolling got the same fucking beat. Yeah. Damn, man. Real, real, real damn same? similar. Yeah, yeah they yeah. do. They do. So when you when you really like look at the Pac era and you see how Pimp C was influenced, it's all of the South because you got to realize you, you when you look at the hip hop era during that time, uh, New York had had it and then it had floated over to the West Coast mm-hmm. and, and then and when Pac reason. came because we were already the West Coast had a the Chronic album all that stuff. I look at it like this too: West Coast rappers embraced Southern rappers too. That's they what did. it was. They did. And Tupac yeah. was already on the West. Yeah, yeah. we didn't know nothing about Tupac. Yeah. Well, well, I ain't gonna we, say we, he was we, on the West. He was he was messing around. What you talking about? He was messing around on the East Coast a little bit too. He came out with this underground. He was in Meridian City. I know that, but he was flipping and flopping at first, man. But he came out. We had to move to Meridian City. Yeah, outside yeah. of Oakland. When we first Jamal heard of Pac, I he was in it. California. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I didn't but know nothing about him going back and forth to the. Well, East I know Coast. he was uh, he, when yeah, he was dealing he with Big. Yeah, yeah, he got shot until he got shot. Yeah, yeah. So what was that nigga doing up there anyway? Come find out he from there and then that's the other, it. So I, didn't, I didn't know nothing. On, I didn't know his history then. Yeah, yeah. yeah realize we twenty four years old. No, we wasn't trying to hear it. Yeah, we on Boston. Talk one on one.